Hey everyone, this is just a quick update to let you know that Concept Graph 0.3 was just released. Now, we are not going into too many details and simply cover what's new. Um, also, I want to thank these amazing people for bringing new features to this release and making it even better. So, unlike before where you had to select a node to bring up the editor, now it's always available in the bottom dock, and it will stay open even if you select another node. So. Right here, I'm in the tree graph node, and if I select the, this leaves, for example, in the previous v uh, version, it would have closed the editor, and but now it stays open. Also, you'll notice we've improved the graph node style, and we made the color a bit less aggressive. We also have a new dynamic uh, typing system on certain nodes. Take the offset node, for example. Here you can see we have a mesh instance connected to its input, and it outputs a mesh instance, because this one simply takes a transform and add um, a constant value to it, to its position. And if I disconnect this mesh in instance, you can see by default it's red, which means it can take on anything that inherits um, a spatial node. So if I take, for example, this curve input over here, I can plug it, and as you can see, it doesn't really, it doesn't erase the type information and it transfers it from the input to the output, which was not possible before. Speaking of transform, every node that simply updates the transforms without touching anything else was moved under the transform category, that's over here. We also have two new math nodes, uh, one is for vector and the other one is for simple numbers. As you can see, basic operations are supported, here you can have a cross product, dot product or anything. Um, again, I don't really know what's really useful for people, so if you end up looking for more operation than what's available in there, let me know on GitHub and I'll add the missing operation for you. And one last thing, we also have a clear all button over here that simply deletes everything that's in the template. So that's it for today. As always, if you have um, any any question or new idea or anything really, please let me know down below in the comments or on GitHub. Your feedback is incredibly valuable. If you want to be informed about the latest release, don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.